Behold, the Lord will come, descending with splendor to visit his people with peace, and he will bestow on them eternal life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess so to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant that your people, we pray, Almighty God, may be ever watchful for the coming of your only begotten Son, that as the author of our salvation himself has taught us, we may hasten, alert with lighted lamps, to meet him when he comes who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I, the Lord your God, teach you what is for your good, and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity would be like a river, and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would be like the sand, and those born of your stock like its grains. Their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord will come. Go out to meet him. He is the Prince of Peace. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came, neither eating nor drinking, and they said, he is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Meron ba sa atin dito ang nilapitan dati o perhaps bago lang na sinabihan kang 
Open-minded ka ba? Perhaps meron. Sa akin meron. Noong nasa Dabao pa ako na-assign. Father, open-minded ka ba? It's about business pala. No? Open-minded. Pagiging bukas. The gospel that we have read is all about, sabihin na natin, people of that time, the refusal for change. Kung mapapansin ninyo, si San Juan Bautista nung dumating, meron siyang sinasabi. And even his own, his very own lifestyle, maraming nasyak. Ano pong sinasabi ni San Juan Bautista? Repent, prepare the way of the Lord. Yung kanyang pagkatao, demand for something. A change. Repent. Prepare the way of the Lord. Kaya nga, pati yung kanyang lifestyle, di ba? For some, it was very harsh. Imagine, pupunta ka doon sa disyerto, kinakain mo lang kung anong meron doon. Napakahirap na lifestyle. Kaya yung mga tao sabi, ano ba yan? He is possessed by a demon. Dumating naman si Kristo, marami nang sasabi, ano namang isang taong ito? Dumating. Very sociable. Very happy. May happy disposition. Kapag ka may invitation, nakikain, nakiinom. At ang sabi sa kanya, is a glutton and a drunkard. Pero may sinasabi si Kristo. At ano po yun? Yung pananaw niya about hatred, yung pananaw niya about forgiveness, yung pananaw niya about doon sa mga taong nawawala. Isang pagbabago na mahirap tanggapin. Bakit? Sapagat yung mga hudyo during that time, especially the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, they want to maintain the status quo. They want to dominate it. E nung dumating si Kristo, lahat yon magbabago. Ang sinabi nila, inakusahan naman nila, He is a glutton and a drunkard. Kaya nga kapag ka, sa mga tao, kapag ka close-minded ang mga tao at ayaw makinig, sabi nga, kapag ka gusto, maraming paraan, kapag ka ayaw, maraming dahilan. People during that time don't listen and they don't mind these two people. Si San Juan Bautista at si Jesus Christ. Bakit? Well, we want to maintain the status quo. We don't want to change. Masaya na tayo dito. Kaya kung mapapansin natin, yung dalawang taong ito, they demand change. And sometimes, their very own personality and the very preaching that they preach, minsan nakakabagabag. Pansin nyo yan, kapag ka may mga taong ayaw makinig sa'yo, wala na yan. It's useless. Ngayon, maraming mga nang nangangampan niya. Tunay na pagbabago, lahat pagbabago sinasabi. Lahat yan. Pansin niyo social media, lahat yan. Gusto na namin magbago, tunay na pagbabago, bago, lahat na lang bago, sige, baguhin na lahat. Gagamitin pa ang mga mahihirap. Sa totoo lang, kung talaga napunta sa mahihirap yung mga kung ano-ano pinapangako, wala nang mahirap ngayon. Ang swerte ng mahirap kapag ka-eleksyon, magbibigay ako ng bahay para sa mga mahirap. Okay naman yun. Minsan nga, sinasabi nga eh, kapag ka-eleksyon daw, Pwede mong ipangako lahat. Ang problema, pupublimahin mo na lang pag nanalo ka. Tunay na pagbabago. Ewa ko, anong tunay pagbabago? Pero sa mga taong ayaw makinig, hindi na magbabago yan. Ngayon pa naman, malakas yung ating cancel culture. Alam niyo po yung cancel culture? Kapag ka hindi ka partido, cancel. Kaya minsan, nakakatakot kapag ka nag, kahit sa misang ito. Pag nagsabi ka ng kulay, naku, 
Si Father, huwag na tayong magmisa dyan kay Father. Cancel culture ang tawag dyan. Itong dalawang ito, si Jesus Christ, saka si Hasan Juan Bautista, their very own person, their very own message, they demand change. Yun nga lang on our part. On our part. Bukas ba tayo doon sa mga pagbabago na sinasabi nila? During the time of Jesus Christ, in the Old Testament, kapag ka nakasakit ka, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Imagine mo niyan. Pagdating ni Kristo, binago niya. Love your neighbor as yourself. Hmm, sandali lang. Patawarin ang mga nagkakasala para bang sandali lang. Yakapin ang mga may sakit, lalo na yung mga may ketom. And during that time, bawal yun. Madudumihan ka. Magpatawad ka. O kaya kung minsan tayo, di ba? Maaring tayo din yung mga pariseyo, mga hudyo during that time. Because sometimes, we just choose the words that we want to hear. Pag sinabing magpatawad ka, Father, hindi pa ako handa eh. Bakit? Masakit pa? Kung minsan nga, minsan sinasabi, sige na, patawad mo kung ikaw ay tunay na Kristiyano. If you want to make an impression, Be forgiving. Father, masakit pa, Father. Eh. Pag nakita ko nga, Father, eh, kung pwede lang saksakin, saksakin ko na. Eh. Lalo yung nakasakit sa akin. Tapos sasabihin sa'yo ni Kristo sa'yo, If you want to follow me, love one another as I have loved you. Kita mo na yung standard ng pagmamahal? Simula nung neighbor, Uh, naging standard mo, tapos ang naging standard o batayan ng pagmamahal, kung paano tayo minahal ng Diyos. Ano po yun? Unconditional. O kaya nga, nung dumating si Kristo talaga, sinasabi niya, hindi ko kayo maintindihan. Nung dumating si San Juan Bautista, ganito sanabi ninyo. Nung dumating ako, ayaw niyo naman. Kaya sinasabi nga, di ba, dumb if you do, dumb if you don't. May gagawin ka, ayaw nila. Wala kang gagawin, may masabi din sila. Ganyan ang attitude ng mga taong close-minded. The challenge for us now today is to be open to the words of God. To be discerning of His words. Sapagat ang pakikinig po, hearing and listening, sila po'y magkaiba. Kapag tayo po'y tunay na nakinig, o if we truly listen, maaring narinig mo lang, ang maganda kasi, hearing is all about, narinig mo lang, but listening is ganito po. Pumapasok sa isipan mo, pumapasok sa puso mo, tinutulak ang kamay mo at ang paa mo, gumagalaw ito at isa sa buhay mo. Ganun palagi ang challenge sa atin. Not just to hear it, but to listen to it. Hinahamon tayo na maging bukas sa salita ng Diyos at naway maisabuhay ito. Open-minded ba kayo sa salita ng Diyos? It demands change. Let us all stand. In faith, we now make our petitions to the Father whose concern is that all people accept His invitation to the banquet of eternal life in heaven. For every petition, we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth may continue to grow and draw more people to the feast of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the rich and the poor 
alike may not make excuses to evade the call of the kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may respond to the call for repentance with sincerity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us may be committed to the cause of the kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may live in the house of the Lord and rejoice in the banquet of eternal life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for our personal intentions and we also pray for the safety of all those who will be traveling today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you invite us to be with you in your kingdom. As we pray for others, help us to bring them with us to that banquet set forth by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue, with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. By, it is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, let the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the, the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Be 
My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Kindly all kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence and terrorism deliver us lord from dishonesty lies and all distortion of truth deliver us lord from bribery graft and all conspiracy of for fruit deliver us lord from gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective deliver us lord from threats intimidation and perverse language deliver us lord let us pray together Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us a call to serve others and grow in holiness guide our politics as you guide our lives may our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever amen, amen. please all stand let us pray Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely 
the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick, and afterwards we pray for the blessing of the rosaries and other religious articles and items. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now pray for the blessing of rosaries and religious items. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, Candles, oil, and other articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.